I've had a few people make comments about me always wearing a hard hat when I'm working in the woods. I thought I'd tell you the quick story about the incident, the reason why I wear a hard hat. Making this video was partly inspired by Rick and Tim from Two Brothers Outdoors who recently made a video about how a tree fell on both of their heads just recently and they were both possibly saved from the unthinkable by their hard hats. It dented both of their hard hats, but fortunately it didn't dent their heads and they're both okay. When I was young, just starting out with a chainsaw, I didn't wear a hard hat. I didn't want one of those uncomfortable things on my head until one day. I was cutting down a small tree right next to a bigger tree like this one. As I was cutting into that smaller tree, just as it was starting to move, a stick about like this one came down like a spear right in front of my face and it poked a hole in the clutch cover of my saw. It went right through it. I don't know how the structural integrity of the human skull compares to that of a clutch cover on a chainsaw, but I didn't like that very much. Not at all, not even a little bit. That day after work, I stopped by the saw shop and bought this hard hat. I've been wearing one ever since when I'm working in the woods. I even wear a hard hat when there's nothing up above that could fall on my head. One of the reasons to wear a hard hat when running a chainsaw is for protection against kickback. My grandpa told a story about a guy he knew who was wearing a hard hat, fortunately, and when his saw kicked back, it came up and popped him in the head. It cut into the brim of the saw and stopped right in front of his nose. If he didn't have that hard hat on, that saw could have cut up into his face. And the other reason to wear a hard hat, I think they're terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. The original suspension for this hat wasn't very comfortable. I didn't like it, but I bought some modern suspension for it. You can get modern suspension. It just clips out and clips in. This one is so much better than the original. I've tried other types of hard hats, but I like these old logger style ones the best. I like the wide brim. It gives some protection from the sun all the way around and not just in your face. It also gives more side protection from things falling down. When it rains, the rain drips off and it drips down on the shoulders of your coat instead of dripping down into your neck. And the sound they make when it's raining, the tinkling sound from the rain or the snow. You haven't lived until you've worn one of these aluminum hard hats out in the rain or snow. It's just good stuff. It's my go-to rain hat. It's also good in hot weather because there's ventilation between the band and the hat. About a year ago, I did a YouTube short video similar to this one about the stick falling down, hitting, poking a hole in my saw, why I wear a hard hat. Over on YouTube shorts, sometimes the comments, I wonder about those people. One guy was telling me, that's ridiculous to be running a saw without gloves. You should be wearing gloves. I had to explain to him, I'm just making a video. I'm not actually running a chainsaw. It's easier to turn the camera on and off without gloves. I think I'm fine here without gloves. Another one saying, you shouldn't be running a saw without safety glasses. You should have your safety glasses on. I had to explain to him. I think speaking in front of a camera is a fairly low risk activity for eye injuries. I think I'll be just fine. I do wear glasses and gloves when I'm running the saw, but here speaking on camera, I think I'm going to be fine. And the reply to that was, well, why are you wearing a hard hat? You don't need a hard hat to make a video. <sighs> because the video's about hard hats. I thought it was appropriate to wear a hard hat while doing a video about hard hats. Those YouTube short guys are an interesting lot. That's it for this video. Videos have been sparse this week. I've been so busy trying to get those blow down trees all finished before the rains come, which could be next week. I've been shooting footage of what I've been doing, but I won't be able to edit it until I get some time, maybe next week during one of those rainy days. That's it for today. You all be safe out there.